Hey everybody, so I've got another new one for you. Um, did a little bit of research trying to find some pictures of this one. Didn't find anything. Um, I did find a couple that were close. Uh, one of which is the dragon's claw. It's pretty close, but not not quite. It looks a little different. Um, this would be a reversible bracelet, so you go either side on it. Um, so if you've got flat buckles, this would be a good one for that. Trying to figure out my camera situation. There we go. Alright, so basically what I've got here, I've got six feet black, six feet neon yellow. And what I want to do go down through the top of your buckle with the two cords, two ends. These pieces of paracord are connected to each other. So I have 12 feet total. Put your paracord through the buckle from the top down open up the wide or the long pieces and then uh, pull your your working ends through and this will give you a cow's hitch this is how you attach the paracord to one end of the buckle all right get this pulled a little tighter and got a little twist going on in there try to work that out there we go all right, that always happens. Okay, get that on there nice and tight. And we'll run our paracord through the fingers. And go up through the bottom of the buckle. My buddy Chris and, uh, and Sergeant Rock on Facebook kind of getting on me about not giving them a shout out in my last couple videos, so there you guys go. I don't think I'll be doing the uh, tutorial you guys want me to do anytime soon. Maybe if I run out of bracelets. Alright, so I just pulled all the excess through there. It gives me two different loops. Black loop and a yellow loop. Alright, and then we can open this up. And, whoops, I flipped that the wrong way. No, I didn't. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Alright, so we got the black on the left, yellow on the right. Now what I want to do, just give me one second, I gotta fix something here. I got my practice cords over here I'm kind of looking at, just so I don't mess this up. <laughs> These are the ones I did on my, my lunch break, so just want to make sure I get this right for you. Alright, so I need to get my yellow one over to the left side. So to do that, just take it around the yellow cord, go up through the center, and bring it off to the left side. So that was real easy. You're basically just taking this right side going under the right cord over the left cord and taking it off to the left side here. I'll make this just long enough. There we go. Okay, so now, to get this going, you're going to take your yellow cord and you're going to do the same thing you just did. You're going to pull that through, but just kind of pull it straight down. Get it out of the way for now. The black one, you're going to go over the top of those two cords, the yellow and the black, and underneath, just like that kind of hard to see here but you can kind of oops hopefully I didn't have that out <laughs> I might have been doing that out of frame but now you can kind of see what we've got going on the yellow one starts on the right goes under the yellow over the black one and then around it and under it and now it goes over the yellow and the black one just kind of goes in between there's like a square here so that black one just kind of goes down through that square and we're just going to tighten this on up back out of that a little bit oh and you can see that nice little burn mark I had on there from uh, I dropped a hot piece of paracord on it don't mind that alright so we're gonna do the same thing now you're always gonna start with your the one that's on the bottom here it's gonna go underneath of the right cord and then over top of the left cord 
and this black one is basically you're going to loop it kind of under if that makes sense you're not really crossing it right here but you're going under and then you're going to go down through that hole and grab the end here you're going to go down through this hole and then make sure that that kind of loops under so that when you push it up the black is kind of cradling that yellow one it's kind of hard to explain okay so now that we got that one we can get these kind of tight you don't want to pull too tight because it'll mess up your, your design okay so take the yellow one again go around the back and over the right side so you're going under the left one over the right one grab the grab your end and go down through that center hole there pull this tight before you tighten it up though make sure that you're kind of cradling so you're going under this loop here there's a yellow like a hump there make sure the black is underneath that you can actually pull up on this yellow here just to make sure just like that kind of gives you a loop here you can tighten your black and then you can pull that slack down there we go alright so go under the first one over the second one alright and take your black down through that hole and pull it on through And you can see how the black is now kind of looping underneath of this yellow. It's kind of hard to see. Let me just zoom in on this for you. See how the black is kind of below this yellow one? So you could actually do it over top and tighten it that way, but you'll, you'll mess up the design. So what you can do is kind of back out some of this yellow just to give you something for the black to kind of cradle. Get this tightened up on the other side. There we go and then you can pull your black tight and then you can go back and pull that slack out of your yellow and that will tighten it up for you alright, so let me do one more nice and close here so you're going around the black up through the middle and over the right side you're taking your black end you're going down through that hole there got a lot of twisting going on with that one and then you're going to make sure that this black is down below this yellow see how if you just try and pull it through it kind of skips right past it so you can pull out some of your yellow here give it something to go underneath of see how the black is underneath that loop now so pull your black tight and then you can pull your yellow tight and there we go you can kinda see the design we got going I'm gonna do one more here I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll be back <laughs> Chris and Sergeant this is probably the next best thing to the tutorial you want me to do <laughs> oh man. Alright, so I went over, kind of around, underneath the yellow, over the black, black in through the hole. Make sure you get all that twisting out of there when you're doing this, otherwise, it's not going to look right. Alright, there we go. tight, some of that yellow tightened, and there you go. You can kind of see the design we got now. Um, basically what I think this kind of reminds me of is the fishtail. You're basically doing two fishtails in one. Like if you were to take away the black, you'd have a yellow fishtail. If you were able to take away the yellow, you'd have the black fishtail. This is just combining the two. So I've been thinking about different names for this one. I haven't thought of one yet. 
I might wait until I just see what the full pattern looks like. But okay, I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be back. All right, so basically I'm down here at the very end. Um, I've got my yellow one through, and I also strung through the black one. And I don't think I can get another one out of this. So what I need to do is finish this. So I've got my yellow here, and I've got my black, the last one that went through, on the top. So what I want to do is I want to finish this with a Solomon. So I'm going to just take my um, black over the yellow, and then around the back, just like that. Okay. Now, take the yellow, create a loop, take and take it around the front, take it over the front, take your black over the yellow, and then up through this loop. Okay, and pull that on tight. Now, you should be able to get this tight enough with just one Solomon, so only leave enough room for one Solomon down here at the bottom. And now all I'm going to do, zoom back out of here a little bit. Um, you'll see another bracelet over here and I'll explain what that is in just a second. Um, just so you know how to do this, I want to cut these ends. And uh, Sergeant Rock, there it is, ready to go. Can't see the flame on the video, but I can assure you this is definitely melting the paracord. It does a very, very good job of that. Without burning it, I might add. And these are available on the website. Just, uh, I think if you just go up in the search and type in torch or lighter, it'll bring that up. got to be kind of careful when you're using it not to heat up the surrounding paracord like I just did. And then we'll use the scissors and kind of rocking motion gets us a nice nice look. Okay, so let me explain this pattern here. Because a lot of people, I'm sure, are going to look at the back side of this and say that this is the shark jaw bone. Which, I would agree with them. It looks very, very similar. Let me get down on this. And it might be kind of hard to see with this lighting I've got, but... You can see that these do look very, very similar. This one being the shark bone, or shark jaw bone. I've also seen it called the piranha. If you flip this over, you have the exact same pattern, just upside down. So if you turn this over, 180 degrees, you have the same pattern. So flip it over, rotate it, it's the same pattern. However, if you flip this one over, you have a completely different pattern than the front. So it is tied a little different, and before somebody yells at me for having something that has already been created, there you have it. Um, I do like the back, the back side of this. It's probably a little bit better than the front, if you ask me. But I do like this side. It's, it gives it a, kind of a cool look to it. It reminds me of a bunch of teeth in the mouth. Um, so I'm probably going to name it some sort of teeth. Maybe uh, dragon's teeth, or... I don't know, that one's already taken <laughs> Um, I'm going to come up with a name for it very shortly, and it'll be posted with the video, but there you have it, another new design, and I hope you like it, keep, keep, uh, keep watching, hit that subscribe button, I really appreciate it, and Chris and Sergeant, there you go, so until next time, paracord on.